looks bright because I've left this other light on. Now we're good. Now we're talking. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Just JP. My name is Justin, and today we're listening to a viewer's choice, viewer's request. This is from Hot Black Desiato, hopefully I said that right. Uh, this is the band Echolin, with the song As The World. They are an American progressive rock band based in Eastern Pennsylvania. They're influenced by bands such as Genesis and Gentle Giant. So we already have some high praise, and from what I've heard, they're pretty good. Hot Black had said that this would be a good song for me to start off with, as I have been recently getting into Gentle Giants a little bit. This song is from their album, As The World, which was released in 1995. I was just messing around with like the audio and just getting the levels right and everything. And I just, I just pressed how long have I waited or how long I have waited another one of their songs off of this album. Um, gotta be honest, I really liked what I heard already. <laughs> I, I had to stop myself from listening to it because I didn't want to spoil myself on what the band sounds like. I really enjoyed like the minute or so that I heard of what it was. Anyways, you guys can join me in the comments down below. You can let me know what you thought of the song. Uh, join me on Twitter if you're interested. The link is over. Is it? It's on this side. The link is right here. It's right in this general vicinity. This is Echolin with As The World. I'm stretching my ears, they're open and notwithstanding To rhythmic syncopation, harmonic dissonance I move to a groove that will never stop swinging And I sing to a song that never ends I'm pushing my brain to think a little harder To learn from the simple and question the complex If logic and reason are the gods that you follow down in your soul's emptiness. It's too easy to be in the platform. It's too easy to know what to say. It's hard to sit when everyone else is standing. The sacred hand of the world is not the way. I'm raising my voice to shout a little louder to answer your questions and ease your tension. In my arguments, arrogance has no friend, and I hate to be cushioned in a fight. It's too easy to be in with a hairstyle. It's too easy to go with the flow. It's hard to see through a haze of popularity. Save your head as the world is not the way.
I can tell that that's going to be one of those songs that I have to listen to it for a second time because <laughs> it blazed by so quickly with how fast everything was moving in the song uh, that it was hard for me to capture uh, things that I could really point out, but I do have a few pointers on this one. The singing and the harmonies were definitely reminiscent of Gentle Giants, uh, especially towards the middle of the song. I thought it has a great voice, so I thought all of them had a great voice and how they joined in. The bass work especially the bass work. It reminded me a little bit of Chris Squire from Yes. Not only the speed and the technique and how it was being played, but also the actual like melodies of it, like the notes and the progression. Great use of the synths, great use of the keyboard sounds, a uh, lot of good sounds in there. Almost reminded me a little bit of uh, late 80s music, now uh, Vaporwave, but looking back it would just be 80s music. And this is only one song, so I don't know, but this band was compared to Gentle Giants and Genesis. Now, I actually heard more Gentle Giants and a little bit of like dream theater, kind of early mid career in the riffs, especially. I kind of heard that comparison. Um, but I gotta say, this was a really, really good intro into the song with a uh, slightly flamenco ish guitar. The singing was really good here, too. I think the intro to the song was one of my favorite parts, actually. Bass work. I'm raising my voice to shout a little louder to answer your questions. Bass work really does remind me of Yes. Uh, the drums are great. I love the uh, the beat that it has. Boom, 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 boom. Just very snappy, very tight. This synth sound, I really liked it. This sounded really good. And you guys know I love soft sections. So when everything kind of brought, was brought down a little bit, this was nice. But really with any band, when they start off high energy and on a certain kick, I really, really enjoy when they soften things up and allow you to breathe, whether that's in the break, in a verse, or even on the latter half of a chorus, wherever it is, I just like it because I get to see both sides of the band, especially if it's my first time listening to them. So in most of this song, we get the high energy, fast and frantic uh, rhythm. Cool. Sounds good. Let's see what else you can do. Okay, now we get to the soft section. This is the break. This is where you can build atmosphere. To an extent, create tension and expectation of what's to come next. So this is what I really enjoy listening to a band like this for the first time because you get both aspects of them and they do sound really good. Nice guitar uh, solo right here. So it's funny, it works great as an opener and I see that there is a song just before this, always the same. Uh, which is only 36 seconds, so I'm assuming that it's more of an introduction into the rest of the album, rather than a singular song. However, this is a nice kickoff to the album. This is that nice high energy piece that you need typically to start off the album and to really get it going and get it moving. It moved a little too fast for me, too frantically, and there's a lot of things in the band that I enjoy, but I didn't really love this song. I really liked what I heard, though, of the other song that I had mentioned in the beginning. Um, I'm not going to play the whole thing here, but I suggest that you guys listen to it on your own. And you guys that are fans of Echolin, what do you think of this song? What do you think of the song, um, How Long I Have Waited? Because the little bit that I heard from that one... I really love the bass. 
Nice keyboard in the back too with the layering. I like a little bit of slowdown in the tempo there. That's nice, especially with the synth and the backwards uh, effect right there. And then all comes back. That was really nice use of the effects in the production right there. I would definitely like to hear more from them. This song in particular, I wouldn't listen to, I don't think. I did enjoy it on my listen, but I don't know if I would come back to it. However, just like Gentle Giant, they have something that pulls you in, at least for me, that makes me interested in the band because I see all the things there, all the ingredients are there, it just has to be arranged in a certain way for me to enjoy the food. So, this one, I enjoyed the meal, it was nice, but it's not something that I would come back to, more than likely. Now, the next song, the little sample that I took before, that little sample that sometimes you get when you go to like, you know, Sam's Club and Costco and those places, yeah, I like the sample, so maybe I'm gonna want more of that. Does that make sense? Lyrics. I'm stretching my ears, they're open and notwithstanding, to rhythmic syncopation, harmonic dissonance, I move to a groove that will never stop swinging, and I sing a song that never ends. I'm pushing my brain to think a little harder, to learn from the simple and question the complex. If logic and reason are the gods that you follow, then you'll drown in your soul's emptiness. I really like the way that the words are written there. I'm pushing my brain to think a little harder, to learn from the simple and question the complex. Sometimes the answer is right in front of us. Sometimes the answer isn't some huge, complex, hard uh, thing that we need to deconstruct in our mind. Sometimes the answer is super simple and we just need to find the most direct line from point A to point B and be done with it. I really like the lyrics on the end of the first verse. If logic and reason are the guys that you follow, then you'll drown in your soul's emptiness. And I like it because it's, um, I, it's almost like Spock, right? Spock is from Star Wars. Star, oh my God, Star Trek. From Star Trek, all logic, there's emotion when you get into it, but you know, it's all logic. There's no heart to it. So if logic and reason, if that is your guideline, if that is all you follow, then you won't have the heart. You won't have the soul, the emotional depth. If you want to even go deeper, the spiritual depth, you'll be missing on those things if you just focus on, you know, logic and reason. It's easy to be in with a hairstyle. It's easy to go with the flow. It's hard to see through a haze of popularity to shake your head as the world just nods away. So it's very easy to fit in with the crowd. It's, it's very easy and simple to agree with popular opinion because everyone else is doing it. Do you have the uh, confidence, I guess you could say, to voice your own opinion, even if it's not popular opinion? Sometimes, and probably a lot of times, popular opinion isn't always right. Now, now, with that you get the question, if everybody jumps off a bridge, would you? Well, my answer is yes, because everyone else is probably jumping off the bridge for a reason, but I think I'm, I think I'm being kind of contradictory to the point. Sometimes we get caught up in making the right impression. Is the commission really worth the sale that we pitch? I'm not really big on justifying intentions. If it's good, then let it grow. On its own, we'll soon be rich. I really like the lyrics here. They're very thoughtful, I think. They're very thought-provoking. Um, it's true a lot of what's being said in here, if not all of it. A fever high, blind man clapper, flag waving monkey man, never hear past own mouth flapping, all the answers palm of your hand. Blind faith uh, to a country or to leadership, political, flag waving monkey man, like you're not even thinking for yourself, you're just following the crowd and the crowd is not always heading to where you want to be, especially if you're with lemmings. And of course, the name of the song and of the album, As the World, Typically, as I know, it's typically ended with turns as the world turns. So as the world moves forward, uh, whichever way and whichever direction the world is spinning, are you spinning with it just to fit in? Or are you going to be the brave one to perhaps turn around and spin the other direction, despite the typical rotation of the earth? And that's just metaphor. <laughs> I enjoyed this song for what it was. It's not something I would listen to again, but it is definitely enough to get me interested in the band, Echolin. So Hot Black Desiato, thank you so much for the recommendation. I truly do appreciate it. And thank you for joining me on Twitter as well. Shout out to you. The rest of you can also join me on Twitter if you haven't already. You can join me in the comments down below and let me know what you think of the song. Don't forget to share the video if you enjoy it, like it, subscribe, and blah, blah, blah. Thank you guys. I hope that you have a great night. I will see you later.